few months ago, a local church in our area was getting rid of some pews to make room for chairs. I didn't really know what I was going to do with them, but I went over and grabbed three or four and had to break them apart so that they uh, would fit actually in the space between my shed and my shop. They sat there for a couple months. Uh, luckily, they were lacquered up enough that uh, they were protected pretty well from the elements, but I made sure they were tarped. I let them sit for a while, didn't really know what to do with them, and decided that I would try to make a coffee table out of one of them. So the first thing was just to take some rough measurements. I tend to not try to be exact, especially the first time. I thought this was funny, this little clip. These are actually pieces of gum stuck to the underside of this pew. I can only imagine how old uh, that gum actually is. First thing to do was to cut off the end and then cut them into rough pieces. Basically to get them ready to take them inside to the shop to use on the table saw. I think I went with about two inch strips and then it's a pretty simple process of just cutting everything down. The next thing to do was to get the planer ready. And the uh, seats of these pews had a little bit of a bow in them to make it more comfortable, or as comfortable as a pew can be. What I did here was flatten all the pieces to the same thickness. And once you get the lacquer off, it reveals really beautiful wood. This is oak, I believe. It was just cutting everything down to rough length. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. If you like what you're seeing and you can check out the other videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I try to put out videos as much as I can. If you've been around a while, thank you so much for the support. I had this idea of marking out on the long pieces so that during the glue up, things would hopefully line up better. Hey everybody, I wanted to jump in really fast and uh, give you an update on what's going on because in the previous couple of clips you saw everything gluing together and going together well and well, it didn't. And uh, kind of things kind of got a little crazy 
And the camera actually stopped, the memory card filled up, so I wasn't able to show you the debacle that actually happened when trying to glue this big thing together. And what kind of happened, I think, was the fact that I tried to do too much. And in the end, there are too many little pieces or the mid-sized pieces. Um, when you glue these two things together, anyone who's done this before knows that they like to move around. There was a lot more bow in this wood than I thought. And I ended up with having to rip the thing apart while it was glued almost, while the glue had almost set. And so now I have three sections um, that are not too, they're not awful, but they're definitely not, they're not, they're not perfect by any means. Um, but if anything, I wanted to show that some things, sometimes things happen and we have to kind of drop back and figure something out. And so if you have a glue up debacle or something doesn't work out, don't let it, um, don't let it freak you out. Just uh, think about something else that you can do and run with it and move with it. And so what I'm going to try to do is clean these up a little bit. Enjoy the rest of the video. And we'll see where it goes. And cleaning the pieces up meant running one side over my joiner, running the other side through the planer, and attempting to glue these things up again. Luckily, this time around, it went much smoother. And actually, it worked out really well. I ended up taking about a quarter inch off of the entire thickness of the project and made it a little more manageable and I actually think it turned out better. Now I'm just cutting it to its final length. I went with four feet. The hardest part about the glue up was fixing all the individual slats that moved. So I drew a line and then used the chisel to work my way around. This is the piece of the project that didn't turn out the really way I wanted it to. I don't know if it was just because my chisels weren't sharp enough or the oak was too hard, but I had a really hard time uh, getting them the way I wanted them. Then I just spent what seemed like hours sanding. Sanding, sanding, and more sanding. The next day I came out to the shop and started to work on the legs. The legs of this coffee table were inspired by Chris from Four Eyes Furniture. If you haven't checked out his videos, the link will be in the description. He has a complete tutorial on how he makes these tapered legs. And I thought they would fit this project perfectly and uh, learned everything from his videos. So check him out. His link again will be in the description. He puts out some amazing uh, mid-century modern furniture and just great videos overall. Once you get the angle set, you just run all the pieces through for the base and top through the table saw. Then it's just a matter of matching up the angles and gluing and nailing everything together. Even though I used glue and nails in this project, I went ahead and put a single screw into each piece just for a little extra protection. I have a lot of kids and my daughter's friends running through the house and I wouldn't want someone to sit on this thing and it break. I just went ahead and sanded the legs, got them ready. The finish for this project is just Minwax, Polyurethane, Semi-Gloss.
This is the best part of any project. Overall, this will have about four or five coats. And I usually sand with 220 grit in between each coat. And then I finish it off with some paste wax, just to give it a nice feel. The different notches you see were actually pieces from the pew that held on to the Bible holder that was under the seat. I was actually going to fill them with walnut or another kind of hardwood, but I really like just leaving them open and it just adds a little bit of a detail and a little unique twist on this table. Mounting the legs was as straightforward as it can be. Three screws on each side. My favorite part about this project was not only transforming one piece of furniture into another, but using it for a completely different purpose. This pew had been used in a church for 50 to 60 years and was being thrown away. So instead of it ending up in a landfill or on the side of the road, now, hopefully for decades to come, it'll be a piece in our own home. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I would love to connect with you. Subscribe for more content. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.